pranks on set? Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, how do the pranks? How do you I, get pranks? Listen, I, I can't give up my cover, <laughs> but there was a certain bucket of water that fell on a certain Dougie Fresh. I'm just saying. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know who did it, but it was set up with a nice drawstring. You pull it, you're behind the door. I, I didn't do it, but I know who did it. <laughs> Okay, and you were in a movie last year, last year, and you do live audience TV now. Which do you like better? Um, you know what? I actually really like both formats. Uh, my favorite is definitely live audience. Um, movies are great because you know you're able to be on different locations and film around the world, and that's really fun. But having the kids there and and the families there to literally go with you on that process and that journey of finding the comedy and finding the spontaneity and the creativity in each piece of work makes it all makes makes all the difference. You know, it's, it's one thing to, to have a joke and, and to say it in front of writers and producers and, you know, executives who are going, oh, yes, that was funny. And then to have the kids go, that ain't funny, or that was funny. You know, kids, kids are honest, and that's what I love about kids. Kids will tell you, you're not funny, Nico. Fix that. <laughs> do something with your eye, a twist or something. Do a spin. You're not funny. You know, and, and, and parents will be kind of like, oh, that was funny. That was not funny, you know. So the kids are honest. And, uh, you know, I think we've been getting really honest reactions and honest laughs. And the kids are loving it. So I'm loving it. So you were on Skating with the Stars last year and you got hurt. Have you ever skated before? I, I have roller skated. Uh, I've never ice skated before. I mean, I dibbled and dabbled, uh, but but nothing serious. And you know, to take on a competition like that and, and an experience like that was definitely one for the ages. But I knew it was something that I wanted to do to become more physically active, to become you know more health conscious. And uh, you know, it was a great experience, and I found myself becoming a really really good ice skater. And, uh, you know, something that I would have never done before, never even ventured into. And now it's, it's really a blessing and, and it's great because it's another notch in my belt for any future films or any future projects in which I had to be an ice skater or, you know, any projects where I have to go from zero to 100 from being, you know, relatively physical. I mean, I go to the gym every day to becoming eight hours a day on the ice, hit the gym, hit the weight, stay strong, lifting people, and it was really good to see that I could put myself into that mode and to go hard or go home. Right. You know? And now, music, I know you you were talking to the fan that came up to you before, you rap for the job. Are you ever going to be doing anything for yourself, musically? You know what? I like to to, to keep people in, in, in anticipation, um, but at the same time, I think there's something awesome about the spontaneity and, 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 and the, the, the not... The, I don't always like to tell people everything that I'm going to do, but music is definitely something, and, and, and rapping is, and, and, and singing, and it's definitely something that I've always loved. You know, I, I did The Lion King when I was 12 years old. I sung, you know, broad, broad, on Broadway, you know, so that is, is definitely something that I would look into, but, uh, you know, the, the flow is kind of nice. I'm not, I'm not going to say that it's, that it's amazing or that it's awesome, but, you know, I've, 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 I've been rapping and, 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 and spitting freestyles every now and again, and my, my buddy say the flow is kind of nice, so maybe maybe you'll see a little music from me. <laughs> um, now Lakers, you're obviously a huge fan. Got your outfit alone. Back to back, y'all. Um, Come on, we're going for a third one. Let's go. <laughs> how how did you become a Lakers fan? I mean, I feel like are you from here? I was born. You were born here on the Laker turf. Okay. It was by nature. It was by law, by Newton's law of Laker. <laughs> and who is your favorite Laker? Favorite Laker. I mean, it's the Black Mamba because I'm the Black Mamba of the of the entertainment industry. So you should probably get into his sketch, his movie, his YouTube five minute phenom. I guess set that up for me. <laughs> set that up for me. I'm down. I will make a guest appearance. <laughs> Wanna tell Kobe that you would like to be Kobe? I think. I need to come and hop into your five minute shorts that you have on YouTube. I hear they're amazing. And uh, I think you might need to come over to So Random. See what you got on the sketch, buddy. Come on. Don't play. <laughs> a peek. That's a sneak peek into a sketch. Y'all gonna like that one. Yeah.